President Biden expected to meet with congressional leaders tomorrow for another round of debt ceiling negotiations. Joining us right now, former U.S. Senator Judd Gregg and former Congressman uh, Jane Harman. Good morning to you. Morning. Morning. Hi, Judd. So it's very nice Hi, to Jane. see both of you. Uh, Senator Gregg, I'm curious sort of where you think uh, this could potentially land. And I know we're going to have a meeting or we think we're going to have a meeting. But um, who's going to give this time around? Oh, they're both going to have to give. And uh, unfortunately, you've got a grumpy old man going up against a guy who's got virtually no place to move because he'd lose his speakership. But they both understand that if they go into default, uh, if we go into default, the damage is going to be enormous to both sides. So at some point, they're going to have to reach some understanding. And there, and there are a lot of places for understanding. I mean, caps have historically always been in place in order to try to Discipline discretionary spending, and so some level of caps is certainly reasonable. Recovering some of the money that hasn't been spent on COVID is reasonable. Maybe some of the regulatory reform that Mansion wants is reasonable. There are a number of places where they can save face. The issue is, do they have the strength of leadership to do that? My guess is that in the end, uh, self-preservation rules, and they probably come to some sort of an agreement, but. We're on much more dangerous ground than I've ever seen, and I was there in 2011 where we almost defaulted. Congresswoman Harmon, where, where do you think uh, there could be a compromise? <laughs> well, let me say first that Judd was great in the Senate, um, and, and I miss you. Not that I'm in Congress either. Um, let me but the, the, the markets aren't panicking, so that's my sign that we're going to go to the brink once again and back off. Uh, I think that the, the list that Judd just gave you is right. Uh, I also think that the, the, the secret weapon is Mitch McConnell. He's an institutionalist. He's just not going to let this happen. Uh, McCarthy has no room to move. That's exactly right. And he, there's rumbling in his caucus, I hear, that uh, they're not happy with him. But I think that tomorrow uh, is at least a short-term extension. That would be the wimpy answer. But hopefully it's a list of things that judges laid out that they can agree to. And the way this will be played is it's a a uh, uh, clean extension uh, plus a budget deal. It's not a combo. And then both sides can take credit. So that, that's how you think this gets done. You don't think that there's going to be some kind of compromise within the context that you just call, you use the word clean, which is something that, that President Biden would like to see. But will he have to compromise on that? Well, but the, uh, it, it, what does it mean? It's semantics. It means that they have agreed that the debt limit will be extended to X time. My my wish list would be after the the presidential election, but forget that. Uh, and there will be a budget deal. That's what there should be. Those don't have to be connected. I mean, it is silly that we have this uh, Russian roulette at the last minute so often. And let's point out that the Democrats agreed three times in the Trump administration uh, okay. to, uh, I think, what was a clean extent. Congresswoman, it, you know, Joe Manchin had a deal with permitting, too. I, 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 don't, I, I don't know if that would cut it. Uh, yeah, we promise that when we do the budget deal, it's going no, 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 no. to be it's gonna have to I, be more. I am misunderstood. I'm sorry. Okay. I, there will be a budget deal. I think Judd Gregg laid out uh, what okay. should be in it, and including some of the things Joe Manchin wants about okay. more rapid permitting, not just for fossil, but also for clean energy. Uh, I think that could be on the table. And I think he would try to insist on it. I'm sorry if I was misunderstood. Uh, you just talked, though, about the, the possibility of, of kicking the can down the road a little bit so that we're going to be dealing with the, this ahead of uh, the presidential election. What do you think the chances that that happens, Senator Gregg? Yeah. Well, I think that any agreement is probably going to go into sometime next year, uh, probably not past the elections, certainly not past the elections. Uh, but if they get a long-term agreement, uh, for example, on caps, that put, takes less pressure off the event when it occurs next year. But Jane's absolutely right. And also let me uh, second her thoughts here. Uh, she was an exceptional senator and a great force for thoughtful activity in the international arena. Uh, and really, the Congress misses her a great deal. But on the issue, uh, on this specific issue, uh, McConnell has said there will be no default. When McConnell makes a definitive statement like that, I believe him. Uh, so, so I suspect that uh, something will happen here that McConnell will. I don't think he wants to step in and be too visible because he wants McCarthy to get credit. Right. Uh, he's so, Senator, to but to, to, the, to, to the point that Congressman Harmon was making, and the, I don't know if you were listening to the conversation earlier, we were talking about the VIX, uh, really a measure of just the volatility in the market and where things are 
It sounds like your bet is this deal gets done, but then two seconds earlier, I thought you were saying this is the worst you've ever seen it. Yeah, it is the worst I've ever seen yeah. it. And the, and the potential for a collapse is there because neither side has the strength of leadership necessary to force their members to agree to what they want to do. Uh, if the president steps away from a clean debt ceiling, uh, then he basically undermines his position as presidency. In his presidency, he thinks, I don't think he does, but he thinks that way. And obviously, um, McCarthy has very little room to move. Right. So that, that has locked us into this path of brinksmanship, which is more severe than I've ever seen. However, in the end, a default is incomprehensible. And as Jane says, you've always got McConnell in the, in the back there uh, being capable of pushing both sides, hopefully, to some sort of rational agreement. I, I don't think there'll be a short-term agreement. I, I don't think you're going to see like a one-week uh, extension of the debt ceiling. That, that would be a, a heavy lift for McCarthy to get across the House floor. I think there's going to be a, a, a comprehensive agreement here, and I think it has to be done this week.